Hey everybody, I'm bringing you a quick fishing hack today, a quick budget hack for fishing. If you want more tackle or you are just wanting to get into it. And I was gonna sit down at my desk and, and show you this hack and then I was like, you know what? I'm going out today on the river. Let's just show it to him on the river. So, open up Google, Google thrift shop in my area, okay? Do that first. And then get yourself to all your thrift shops, your Goodwills, your Habitat for Humanities, your Salvation Armies, especially your church-owned and non-profit-owned smaller thrift shops that aren't part of the big chains. You get better deals there. So, I stopped at a thrift shop last week and I spent $10, like 10, 10 even, because Here's another secret. In most states, thrift shops don't charge tax. And I got four baits. Look at them, in baggies. And I'm gonna go through each of them, show them to you, and we're gonna, we're gonna fish them. We have the Prop Walker 100, okay? I paid $2.99 for this thing. Let's get it out of the bag. So we have a Savage Gears Prop Walker 100. This bait typically goes for 10 to $15, okay? Depending on where you buy it, and color, and everything. I got it for $2.99. There's some things you want to look for, right? And this will be the same for all the baits, so I'm only going to say it once. You want to check for rust. So I checked for rust. The hooks look good. I mean, look at that feather trouble. No rust. There's not really any scratches either. There's a little bit. This thing is almost unused for $2.99. So we're going to tie it on. We're going to toss it around. So this is the Prop Walker 100. You can walk it like a walking bait, or you pop these fellas out right here, and it's a prop bait. How cool is that? Look at that, look at that, look at it kick that. So there it is with the prop. And then we're gonna take it, rotate that around, click those props back into the body. And now we've got a walking bait. And it's got a little bit of a popper mouth. So it's creating some splooshes. And it's got that, uh, it's weighted in the back, so it's sitting nicely, and it's got a nice feather treble. Just gonna give us a little more action in the water underneath it, too. Next up, we have an Engage Twitch Shad 90FL. So same thing, look for rust. The hooks on this have been replaced. These are heavier duty, like saltwater hooks. I bought these in Florida, so that makes sense to me. But the sides of the bait, there's some scratching, but it almost looks brand new. I paid $3.99 for that one. So I paid four bucks for that one. Normally goes for $10. So again, we've got like a 50% savings. Spider web. We've got some savings there, you know. So we have two baits now for six bucks. Six bucks or seven bucks. $2.99. And three, $3.99. So for seven dollars, okay? They were also having a special. All these baits were, were on sale, I think 20% off or something. I really think we need to switch the hooks on it. The whoever put those saltwater hooks on it, they just are kind of killing the action. And that's okay. We'll change the hooks. I have hooks actually at home that I can swap on here real, real fast. It is a pretty heavy bait.
I think once we put the appropriate size hooks on here, the twitching action will be good. Plus it suspends pretty well, and when you crank down, it's going down in the water. I think it'll be a really good bait. This Chase Bait Drunken Mullet. Same thing, barely used, hooks look in great condition. This is a jointed swim bait, prop bait? Um, Chase Baits make some wacky stuff. I'm looking forward to throwing this around today to see if we can't hook into something on the top water. I'm watching them, they're eating. We're gonna get, we're gonna start throwing these and show you some footage of them in action. So this is normally a 10 to $15 bait, again, depending on where you buy it. And let's see what we got it for. That's another originally marked $3.99. So that's four, four, eight. And then we had a $2.99, $11 before the discount. Looks good. It's definitely something that like the, the bass around here have probably never seen before. I like it, I like the action. Now here's the tricky part. Do your research in the store. I was moving quick because we were trying to leave and I saw this popper and I thought, oh, this popper looks pretty good. And I just grabbed it. Buck 99, eh, it's from Wish. Like, it's a pretty janky little popper as I've looked at it closer. Um, so, not the best. I'll still use it. It'll probably still catch fish. I'll probably use it today. I'll put it on the spinner rod. We'll probably catch something with it. Can't really complain about the action on it. It pops really well. Probably want to replace the hooks. And the life on it is not going to be super good, you know? Good rattles though. But here, here's the, the last pointer I'll give you and then we'll show you footage of all of them or we've already shown you or whatever. I'm sure you have a smartphone, right? Open Google, or if you're on an Android, like go to the little bar at the top where it says Google, and there's a microphone and a camera. Tap the camera, scan with your camera, point it at the bait, let it scan it, and 98% of the time, it's gonna pop up and show you that bait, what Tackle Warehouse is selling it for, what Walmart is selling it for, what Dick's Academy, Meyer, whatever place that's selling it online, it's gonna show you what they're selling it for. And you're gonna be able to do a comparison to see if, A, you're, you're getting a good deal on it, and, and B, you know, let's say that it needs new hooks. You look at, oh, those hooks are kind of crumbed up and rusty, and I know I'm gonna want new hooks. If that's the case, you need to account for that when you're gonna go buy it. If, it, if the hooks are gonna cost you $3, and they're asking $4 for the bait, and it's a seven or $8 bait, I just go buy it new. I wouldn't wouldn't deal with it. But if you're gonna get a $15 bait for four bucks and the hooks are good, or you gotta spend $2 on the hooks, and you're gonna get a new bait for six bucks instead of 15, go for it. That's it, short, sweet, Get to your thrift stores, get to your resale places, get to your Habitat for Humanities, your Goodwills, your Salvation Armies, and especially your local thrift shops. Most places, when you get to the local thrift shops, that's where you're gonna get your deals. So I'm editing this video, and the last clip where I kind of summarize and everything, my mic just stops working. I don't know if you noticed earlier in the video, it kind of goes in and out a little bit, and I don't know if it was because of, I don't know what, but, Here's kind of like the summary of, I think, what I was saying in that video. So we got those four baits, all right? And one of them was kind of a iffy, but turned out when we put it on the water, that popper was actually pretty good. It got a lot of action. I'll probably replace the hooks on it. Total what we should have paid for those baits at the thrift store was $12.96, okay? But they had a discount thing going on, so we ended up paying $10.66 for them. And... The three without the wish bait should have added up to around $45. And they're, they all look pretty much brand new. Um, the Twit Shad, I think I said that the hooks on it had been replaced when I went and looked it up. Those are actually the hooks that come on it. Um, 
but they really killed the action. And the over the split rings were too large and they would seize up. And that's gonna give you a point of leverage where a fish would come off of it. So I replaced the split rings and the hooks and um, I, I like it, it's, it's great. It's got good action, you know. So yeah, great find. Um, all of those, great find. Ended up with four really viable hooks and in fact, it's not out yet, but I just caught my new PB on that prop walker. So be on the lookout that within the next few for that within the next few weeks to see the new PB record get broken. And of all places at the farm pond, but <laughs> that's another video. That's it. Paid 1066 for four baits that are all really great. Um, get out to your thrift stores, get it taken care of, and I'll catch you all next time.